Lord, open our lips. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Let us listen to the voice of the Lord and enter into his peace. Come, ring out our joy to the Lord. Hail the God who saves us. Let us come before him giving thanks. With songs let us hail the Lord. Listen to the voice of the Lord and enter into his peace. Let us listen for the voice of the Lord and enter into his peace. Come in, let us bow and bend low. Let us kneel before the God who made us. For he is our God and we the people who belong to his pasture, the flock that is led by his hand. Listen to the voice of the Lord and enter into his peace. Let us listen for the voice of the Lord and enter into his peace. For forty years I was wearied I was wearied of these people, and I said their hearts are astray. These people do not know my ways. Then I took an oath in my anger, never shall they enter my rest. And to the word of the Lord and enter into his peace. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us listen to the voice of the Lord and enter into his peace. 6672. 672. Lord, as I wake, I turn to you, yourself the first thought of my day. My King, my God, whose help is sure, yourself the help for which I pray. There is no blessing, Lord, from you for those who make their will their way. No praise for those who will not praise. No peace for those who will not pray. Your living gifts of grace to me, those favors I could never earn. Call for my thanks in praise and prayer. Call me to love you in return. Lord, make my life a life of love. Keep me from sin in all I do. Lord, make your will my only law. Your will my will for love of you. It is good to make music to your name, O Most High, to proclaim your love in the morning. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to make music to your name, O Most High, to proclaim your love in the morning and your truth in the watches of the night, on the ten-string lyre and the lute, with the murmuring sound of the harp. Though the wicked spring up like grass, and all who do evil thrive, they are doomed to be eternally destroyed. But you, Lord, are eternally on high. See how your enemies perish. All doers of evil are scattered. Planted in the house of the Lord, they will flourish in the courts of our God. Still bearing fruit when they're old, still full of sap, still green, to proclaim that the Lord is just. In him, my rock, there is no wrong. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. It is good to make music to your name, O Most High, to proclaim your love in the morning. I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit in you. I will take you from the nations and gather you from all the countries and bring you into your own land. A new heart I will give you 
and a new spirit I will put within you, and I will take out of your flesh the heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. You shall dwell in the land which I gave to your fathers, and you shall be my people, and I will be your God. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I will give you a new heart, and put a new spirit in you. On the lips of children and of babes, I f your, your, your Lord. How great is your name, O Lord, through all the earth. When I see the heavens, the work of your hands, the moon and the stars which you arranged, what is man that you should keep him in mind? Mortal man, that you care for him. All of them, sheep and cattle, yes, even the savage beasts, birds of the air and fish that make their ways through the waters. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. On the lips of children and of babes, you have found praise, Lord. A reading from the second letter of St. Peter. What we are waiting for is what he promised. The new heavens and the new earth, the place where righteousness will be at home. So then, my friends, while you're waiting... Do your best to live lives without spot or stain, so that you will find you at peace. Think of our Lord's patience as your opportunity to be saved. When I sing to you, my lips shall rejoice. My tongue shall tell the tale of your justice. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, guide our feet into the way of peace. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and redeemed them. A saviour who would free us from our foes, from the hands of all who hate us. So his love for our fathers is fulfilled, and his holy covenant remembered. As for you, little child, you shall be called a prophet of God the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord to pray his ways before him. He will give light to those in darkness, those who dwell in the shadow of death, and guide us into the way of peace. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, guard our feet into the way of peace. God's gift was not a spirit of timidity, but the spirit of power and love and self-control. With complete confidence we pray. Praise be to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In Christ you have given us every spiritual blessing. 
By the power of the Holy Spirit, Mary brought Christ into the world. Through the church, may Christ be born again in the hearts of men and women. Father, may your spirit lead us forward out of solitude. May he lead us to open the eyes of the blind, to proclaim the word of light, to reap together the harvest of life. Lord, our striving for your kingdom, not f let our striving for your kingdom not fall short through selfishness or fear. May the universe be alive with the Spirit, and our homes be the pledge of a world redeemed. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O powerful eternal God, splendor of true light and never-ending day, at this return of the morning hour, chase away the night of sin and fill our minds with the glory of your coming. We make our prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. May the Lord bless us, keep us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And the prayer for vocations to the priesthood in this Rosemary Diocese. Eternal Father, we thank you for every priest who faithfully given his life for the salvation of his brothers and sisters. We give thanks to those priests who brought us your word of truth, the grace of the sacraments, and above all the supreme gift of the Holy Eucharist. Father, through your Son, Jesus Christ, who called the apostles to follow him, we ask you to raise up new and gener generous vocations to the priesthood in our time. Send forth the Holy Spirit to open the hearts of a new generation to your call and enable them not to be afraid, but to recognize the joy of giving their whole lives in love through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Morning, everyone. Morning, Father. I'm asked this morning for Bishop. Brian Noble was his, uh, his anniversary today. We come together in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. May your grace, O Lord, we pray, at all times go before us and follow after, and make us always determined to carry out good works through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever.
a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. The promise of inheriting the world was not made to Abraham and his descendants on account of any law, but on account of righteousness which consists in faith. That is why what fulfills the promise depends on faith, so that it may be a free gift and be available to all of Abraham's descendants, not only those who belong to the law, but also those who belong to the faith of Abraham, who is the father of us all. As scripture says, I've made you the ancestor of many nations. Abraham is our father in the eyes of God, in whom he puts his faith, and who brings the dead to life, who calls into being what does not exist. Though it seemed Abraham's hope could not be fulfilled, he hoped and he believed, and through doing so, he, beca he did become the father of so many nations exactly as he had been promised. Your descendants will be as many as the stars. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. O oh, children of Abraham, his servant, O oh, sons of the Jacob he chose, he the Lord is our God, his judgments prevail in all the earth. The Lord remembers, Lord remembers his, his covenant, covenant forever. forever. He remembers his covenant forever, his promise for a thousand generations, the covenant he made with Abraham, the oath he swore to Isaac. The Lord, the Lord remembers, remembers his covenant forever. For he remembered his holy word, which he gave to Abraham his servant. So he brought out his people with joy, his chosen ones with shouts of rejoicing. The Lord, Lord remembers, remembers his covenant forever. The Gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. Speak, Lord, your servant is listening. You have the message of eternal life. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you, if anyone openly declares himself for me in the presence of men, the Son of Man will declare himself for him in the presence of God's angels. But the man who disowns me in the presence of men will be disowned in the presence of God's angels. Everyone who says a word against the Son of Man will be forgiven, but he who blasphemes against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven. When they take you before synagogues and magistrates and authorities, don't worry about how to defend yourselves or what to say, because when the time comes, the Holy Spirit will teach you what you must say. The Gospel of the Lord. Father Ghani was a Catholic priest in his homeland of Iraq. As a correspondent for Asia News, he was not afraid to speak out about his faith, but it made him vulnerable. It was why one evening in 2007, he was accompanied home after mass by three of his subdeacons. Gun gunmen shot them dead, leaving their bodies in a booby-trapped car. This was by no means an isolated incident. Christians in some countries worldwide are disowned by their families, locked in asylums, arrested, raped, or forcibly married. As many as 100,000 are martyred every year. Even in places where the worst that can happen 
is a bit of gentle teasing. Many find it difficult to admit to being Christian. Jesus challenged those of his followers for whom popularity came first. Do not behave as though you are ashamed of me, he warned. It doesn't matter if you feel awkward telling people, the Holy Spirit will help you. Acknowledge me as your Lord, and Je your Lord, Jesus said, and heaven will look on you with pride. It's still embarrassing in some cultures to share matters of deep or personal nature. The mischievous use of social media increases people's anxiety. Fear of ridicule or trolling in these modern times is a powerful incentive to stay safely tight-lipped. Jesus encourages us to be authentically ourselves. To keep quiet about what matters to us is to hide who we really are, and to deny who we are is to push God away. Lord Jesus, help anyone whose Christian beliefs have placed them or their families in any danger. May no one be made to suffer for what they believe. Amen. Pope Francis has urged us all this week to pray for peace, especially in the Holy Land. Lord, hear us. Pray that the Holy Spirit may guide Pope Francis as he guides the Synod in Rome. Pray that the participants may listen to each other, even if they don't necessarily agree. And let the Holy Spirit work among them. Lord, hear us. Pray for peace, not only in the Holy Land, but also in Ukraine, Sudan. Lord, hear us. We pray for those who have been made homeless, by war and violence, but also by the floods in our own country and elsewhere. Lord, hear us. We pray for vocations to the priesthood and religious life, in our diocese and in those parts of the world with most need today. Lord, hear us. We pray for those suffering persecution their beliefs. Lord, hear us. We pray for our sick, those sick in hospital, sick at home. Lord, hear us. We pray for those who've died, and particularly Bishop Brian Noble today, and all those who may die today, especially those with no one to pray for them. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. Ask our Blessed Lady and Saint Joseph to be with us as we present our petitions to the Father. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Lord God, our Father, we ask you with full confidence to hear our prayers and grant our petitions which we make through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings, that through these acts of devotedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your Word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Saviour and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim, Holy, Holy, be Lord God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that it may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray the partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Mark, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant Brian, whom you called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who've fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died, in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, 
O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And we pray now as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let's offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy. You should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be. Soul of my Saviour, sanctify my breast. Body of Christ, be thou my saving guest. Blood of my Saviour, bathe me in thy tide. Wash me with water flowing from thy side. Strength and protection, may thy passion be. O blessed Jesus, hear and answer me. 
Deep in thy wounds, Lord, hide and shelter me, so shall I never, never part from thee. God and defend me. He only I call me and bid me come to thee on high, where I may praise thee with thy saints for I. Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you freed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers of his divine nature who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And Mass has ended. Go forth in peace. I'll sing a hymn to Mary, the mother of my God, the virgin of all virgins, of David's royal blood. O oh, teach me, Holy Mary, a loving song to frame. When wicked men blaspheme thee, I love and bless thy name. Have a good day, everybody. Dear brothers and sisters, we come before our mother of perpetual health to praise God our Father with Mary and to thank him for the blessings he's given us through her intercession. Let us once more ask her to pray for us. Remember, O oh most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your help or sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, I fly unto you, O Virgin of virgins, my mother. To you I come, before you I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in your mercy hear and answer me. Amen. That we may be faithful to prayer every day of our lives. That we may carry out faithfully the duties of our state of life that we may have courage to face up to all our difficulties, that we may quickly return to Christ should we fall into serious sin, in misunderstandings with those we love, in times of sickness in the home, in worries about financial matters, 
that we and our young people may find our true vocation in life. That all may respect all human life and avoid the dangers of drug and alcohol. That those who rule our country may act wisely, justly and for the good of all. That we may see our daily work as a service to our neighbour. That the economy of our nation may improve and the dignity of human labour be restored to those who feel rejected, redundant or unemployed. That we may be tolerant and charitable to those who do not share our views. That all who suffer in mind or body may be comforted and if it is your will, restored to health. That our Holy Father, Pope Francis, may have light and guidance in ruling the church. That all people may live in peace and unity. That our deceased relatives and friends may have eternal rest. For the intentions of all who are making the novena. For our personal intentions. Mother of perpetual help, with the greatest confidence we come before you to be inspired by the example of your life. We think of you at that moment when full of faith and trust you accepted God's call to be a mother of his son. Help us, your children, to accept with joy our own calling in life. When you learned that your cousin Elizabeth was in need, you immediately went to serve her, offer her help. Help us, like you, to be concerned for others. We think of you, Mother, at the foot of the cross. Your heart must have bled to see your son in agony, but your joy was great when he rose from the dead, victorious over the powers of evil. Mother of sorrows, help us to realize that we must expect trials and disappointments. Help us not to lose heart. May we share with your son the joy of having courageously faced up to all the challenges of life. Amen. Let us pray. Lord God, it is your will that we come together today to honour Mary as a mother, ever ready to help us. May we who implore her motherly health benefit by the great gift of salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.